नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन फॉर आवर सर्किट डिजाइन इन एल टी स्पाइस सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सम ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ एल टी स्पाइस लाइक हाउ टू पुट कंपोनेंट्स एंड हाउ टू चेंज देयर वैल्यूज नाउ वी विल ओनली टॉक अबाउट सोर्सेज ओके सो देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सोर्सेज वी हैव लाइक वोल्टेज सोर्स वी हैव करंट सोर्सेज वोल्टेज सोर्स कैन बी लाइक इट इज ए डी सी वोल्टेज लेट एस से वी हैव जस्ट फाइव वोल्ट डी सी सोर्स और टेन वोल्ट डी सी सोर्स और यू नो लाइक थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट डी सी सोर्स सो हाउ वी विल इनिशियलाइज दिस काइंड ऑफ सोर्सेज सिमिलर टू दैट सोर्सेज आर लाइक ए स्क्वायर वेब इज देयर लाइक और ट्रेंगुलर वेब इज देयर सो मेनी पल्स काइंड ऑफ वेब्स इज देयर राइट सो वी हैव पल्स वेब फॉर्म फॉर डिफरेंट वोल्टेज सोर्सेज सिमिलर टू दैट वी हैव साइन सो साइनस वाइडल वोल्टेज इज ऑल्सो देयर so basically we will be able to understand like how we can define our different kind of sources and similar to that you will be having current sources as well as well as voltage sources so what we will do is we will take up the circuit let's get into the circuit so let us do one thing we will just define this particular voltage source and we will try to understand how we can change the values of this voltage source so let us say we want a 5 volt simple dc values so i just want to write 5 if you want you can write down just 5 or 5v both will be same okay now if you run this particular circuit you will get this waveform window okay and to see this particular voltage value you have to do one thing is you have to place the cursor on this particular node so you will see this is a 5 volt okay now what is the thing that you are struggling for this name is coming up as vn001 so what we will do is for our simplicity or for our convenience we will name this net okay and to name a net we will be requiring labeling the net net labels okay so net labels what you can do is you can press this button label net or you can press just a to get the label net okay uh wait a moment so you just go to undo or you know like uh, uh go to this label net a and what we'll do is we will put v in so let us say the name i want to put whatever name you want to put like v input or v1 or v in or v input whatever name you want to put you can put it no problem and press okay so you will get this particular thing now don't press anywhere you have to see the label i mean you know the node so you have to go there and connect to that net okay you don't press here and it will it will not name that net okay you will put it here it will not name any net your aim should be to press exactly on the name where you want to put it so it should get connected to that you can see there is a connection tab that you can see correct got it so your aim must be to put on the net not anywhere in the circuit so i'm going to put on this net okay so as you can see v in is the name of this particular net now suppose i want to press this particular thing uh, let me rerun it so as you rerun it and put it so this is coming v in let me just uh, go out from this and uh, rerun again so as you can see this is coming v in so you are able to now relate this particular waveform name to this particular voltage source that is your v in got it now let me just change it to pulse waveform or some other waveform okay so what we do we should do is to get this voltage source in some other form you have to go to advanced you can see advanced so in advanced we have lot of options like we have pulse waveform we have sine waveform so we'll see one by one each one of them okay so let us go into pulse we want to have a pulse waveform or a square wave waveform from this particular voltage source okay so initial value we want to decide it let's say zero final value we want to decide it 3.3 volt time delay like we don't want to have any delay right now let us say time rise let us say we want to have one microsecond so one u time fall let's say one microsecond so one u okay if you want you can put time rise and time fall as 0 0 no problem but to make it uh, to make it very practical voltage source i am giving some minimal you know like voltage rise time and like voltage fall time okay so basically rise time and fall time i can give one microsecond so basically it will take one microsecond time to reach from 0 volt to 3.3 volt 
and it will take again one microsecond time to reach from 3.3 volt to 0 volt. So this is the meaning of T rise and T fall. Zero T time delay zero means it will start from beginning itself. It will not give any delay. Okay. Sem similarly, sometimes what happens is, uh, let us say you want to start your voltage source after let's say two milliseconds. So you can give two millisecond time here. Okay. Now let me say what is the on time so let me say uh, my on time is 1 millisecond okay and what is the period so let's say I am going to have period of 2 millisecond it means on time is also 1 millisecond and off time is also 1 millisecond so that put together T on plus T off is to total T period so T on plus T off total T time period and time period is 1 plus 1 that is 2 millisecond right now if you give number of cycles then you can write down like let's say 100 cycle I want or 5 cycle I want or 10 cycle I want otherwise if you don't give no problem okay so this is how it works okay now if I press ok then it will become a pulse so you can see there is the change is you can see I'll just move this one a little this, this side so you can see the pulse has been changed to little differently now you can see 0 then 3.3 .3, then 0 1u 1u 1m 2m like that all this information is there for this particular voltage source okay now if you run it what is going to happen is let's say I run it then it is saying 0 to 3.3 .3 volt but I am not seeing the pulse what could be the reason so you have to always make sure the time you have run it you have to see it is run for one millisecond and as you can see the on time itself was one millisecond so it has it is giving you a information for just one millisecond so if you want to see proper pulses you have to run for little more time so always you have to do go to simulate and go to this edit simulation command and in it edit simulation command you have to run it for little longer time so let's say I'm going to run for 10 millisecond so 2 millisecond is time period so 2 millisecond in up to 10 millisecond what will happen it will give us 5 pulses right so I am going to run for 10 millisecond now if you run it what will happen rerun it so it is going to give me some 5 6 pulses okay so this is how you understand how to define different pulses of your waveform right now let me just change one more thing I am going to give a delay of let's say 3 millisecond so 3 m okay if you want capital M also no problem capital M small m both have milli not mega capital M is not mega okay so 3 millisecond I am going to give a delay so the thing is my waveform will start after 3 millisecond you can see okay so let me rerun it so you can see my waveform has just started after 3 millisecond so this is how you give delay of uh, a particular time that you want okay so this is how you are going to give a delay of uh, 3 millisecond for your voltage source now the thing is what I will do is I will just copy this particular circuit itself so to copy this you have to press this copy button or otherwise control C both are same okay so let me press control C so as you can see you can see uh, there is a difference in the uh, you know like my cursor now you select complete thing so it will be get copied okay now you don't press left click otherwise it will be placed here itself okay and if you want to press here itself then it will uh, you know like become circuit here itself okay so what I will do is I will just take a new circuit so press control N and I am going to get a new circuit okay now let me just do this so this is a circuit that has come now suppose I want to change this particular voltage source to some other form so let us say I want to have a you know like 5 volt with let's say 0 as 3 millisecond only or let's say 1 millisecond so I will start after 1 millisecond my voltage will start or let's say 3 millisecond itself this is how you change your things if you want T on time or T off time little bit different you can have little bit different also okay so let's say I have made it to 5 volt and rerun it then you can see this is my 5 volt circuit and this is the window that is coming up okay so if you run it and then press this so you can see 0 to 5 volt okay so this is a change that you have got now I'm going to make this change to a sine wave okay so to make this voltage as sine wave what we'll do is right click this and select a sine wave here okay pulse is done none was the just DC value you have to keep pulse as this pulse you had to keep and then sine wave you have to give some other thing right so what we'll do is DC offset let's say you don't want to have any DC offset 
एम्पलीट्यूड आई वॉन्ट टू गेव लेट गिव लेट से प्लस माइनस फाइव वोल्ट सो फाइव वोल्ट इज देयर फ्रीक्वेंसी हाउ मच फ्रीक्वेंसी आई वॉन्ट लेट से आई वॉन्ट वन हर्ट सो आई जस्ट गिव वन डीले आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी थिंग लेट से एंड थीटा एंड ऑल ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू कैन कीप इट यू नो लाइक नथिंग ओके सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट फाइव एम्पलीट्यूड लाइक प्लस माइनस फाइव वोल्ट अप एंड डाउन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी वन हर्ट प्रेस ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस हैज चेंज टू साइन ओके If you want to move this one closer to this voltage source, you have to always press this drag and hold this and make it here and keep it. Okay, so this is how you move the item. Okay, now suppose I run it. What is going to happen is, see, this is going to happen that this should have been sine wave. Now, what is the problem? This is the sine wave that has run for ten millisecond. Okay. and what is the thing that you have put here one second as frequency uh, one hertz as frequency one hertz frequency means it will be one second time period so in one second running it will give you one period okay so you have to make sure that you are running or you are simulating the circuit for more than one second so i'll go again simulate edit simulation command and i'll run it for let us say uh, you know like 5 second so 5 second it will run then only it will give me the sinusoidal wave so now rerun it you can see plus 5 volt is voltage plus mi minus 5 volt is voltage here so plus minus 5 volt sinusoidal signal you are able to get okay so as you can press this here and you are getting the voltage source so this is how you have you know like uh, made it pulse then you have made it sine you had made uh, some other you know like dc voltage source all these things you understood right If you want to make, you know, like different thing. Let us say I want to have a uh, one kilohertz. Like I don't want to one hertz. I want to have one kilohertz sinusoidal wave. So make it one k. So this has become zero five one k. Now if you run it, what is going to happen is uh, one millisecond. It will become, uh, you know, like uh, one complete waveform. So I'll just run it. So this is the problem that is happening. It has run for five second and it is giving you lot of waveform. Okay. So if you want to see the very first ones, you can you know like a uh, uh, press here this particular place and try to zoom it. Okay, so it will give you like this. Okay, but this is very difficult to see. Okay, very difficult to see. So what you can do is, you can see plus minus five volt is coming and at one millisecond it is completing one you know like complete uh, you know like uh, uh, waveform. But instead of this, what I will do is I will go to simulation command. and i will not run to you know like uh, let us say go here and then simulate edit simulation command i don't want to run for 5 second i will just run for 5 millisecond so that it will give me five pulses only okay now rerun it so you can see up to 5 millisecond it is giving me 1 2 3 4 5 pulses so this is how you change your voltage sources for different values okay let me quickly give you the current sources so just i'll go and delete this particular you know like thing so i deleted this and i will put here current source so for that what will i do components and put a you know name it here current c u w r e n t and you press this so i want to put it above then what i will do a control r i have to put okay so it will get rotated so control r i am going to put and i can place it here got it now let us say i want to change the value of current again so i'll just put a dc value of let's say 1 ampere so i'm going to put 1 ampere current source so 1 ampere it has become and you can see once you run it once you run it it is going to give you uh, 15 kv it is giving why because i am going to put the voltage source here right the voltage source is 10k plus 5k that is 15k multiplied by 1 ampere so 15 kilo ohm multiplied by 1 ampere is 15 kilo volt so 15 kilo volt is the voltage across this particular two resistors or v input is 15 kilo volt if you want to see the current across this particular thing what you can do is on the component you can press this as you can see see here here there is a you know like uh, i mean pen now on the on the you know i mean uh, on the component if you put there will be a change in the symbol and this is called current so if you press this you can see uh, the blue begin uh, you know like blue color is 1 ampere okay if you want to see current across this resistor this also will come as 
वन एम्पियर बट यू कैन सी द करंट डायरेक्शन इज लेफ्ट साइड सो दैट्स द रीजन इट इज गिविंग यू माइनस वन एम्पियर ओके If you can see current direction is downward, so across R1 it will give you one ampere. So you can see the you know like little bit greenish color. It is I R1 that is one ampere. Okay, so this is how a double click. If you do, you will get it. So basically the current that we have got is how much one ampere that is I of I1. So I1 is the source name. Current through I1 is actually one ampere. If you want, you can have sinusoidal also. For that only same process. just like voltage source you can go to advance and you can have pulses or you can have sinusoidal whatever way you want you can put it so let's say i want a sinusoidal current wave form of amplitude uh, you know like 1 volt up and down so i'll put 1 volt let's say 1 kilohertz i want source and you don't want anything else okay so i'll run it and then i'll just run it you can see 1 ampere plus and 1 ampere minus current sources okay so hope you have a very good understanding now how to change the current sources or how to change the voltage sources whether it can be a dc value whether it can be ac value whether it can be a pulse or it can be a sinusoidal okay so anything that you want you can you know like uh, go to go to this particular voltage source okay and right click here right click here and you will have lot of options whether it is a dc value so you can put dc here you have a pulses you have sinusoidal you have exponential we will see in advanced phases what is my pwl files like like uh, you know like a piece wise linear functions that we'll see in later on okay so good uh, i think you have a good understanding about complete sources now in the next sessions what we'll do is we'll have different different voltage you know divider circuit or current divider circuits to understand a complete functionality of a circuit and then we will move to little bit advanced circuits as well so let right, guys thank you